Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bald and Beardless. Today, I'm gonna to be shaving with Mitchell's Wool Fat Shaving Soap. Now, Mitchell's is notoriously hard to lather. And if you guys have been paying attention to this show at all, if you've watched any past episodes, you know that my biggest problem is lathering. I just can't seem to get the trick of it down. And so I figured, well, if I'm gonna learn with anything, I might as well learn with the hardest there is, because if I can do this, then I can do anything. So first things first, kind of open it up, give it a smell. I just got this in the mail, so it's new to me as well. It comes in a very nice little package here, very fancy. It almost looks like something uh, my sister or girlfriend or you know mother would buy, but whatever, it's cool. <sighs> hmm. As far as the scent goes, speaking of my mother, she manages a nursing home back in Pennsylvania, and, and I. <laughs> I love the name of this soap. I think it's a really cool name. It's really appealing and it's really what made me want to try it out. Um, so I hate to be a dick about it, but this smells like that nursing home. And it's a nice nursing home. It's clean. It's as nice as a nursing home could possibly be, but... Oh man, this just has like a very bitter, almost like antiseptic smell to it. Uh, very strong. Yeah, I, I'm not crazy about this smell at all. I'm not going to lie to you guys about it. But, you know, it's... Not just about scent. Let's see how it lathers, let's see how it performs. As far as um, lathering up goes, I did get a great tip this week from someone on Reddit named Pretentious Sober K. And he told me that there just wasn't enough water in my lather yet. So I'm gonna let this bloom for a little bit, I'm gonna let it sit in some water, and we're gonna see if that helps me out. And while I do, well actually, let's open it up first before I get ahead of myself. That doesn't help matters. Taking off the protective wrapping only makes the uh, antiseptic smell stronger. But, okay. This is a normal sized puck. There's really no decoration on the puck itself. No stamp. I'm gonna drop it in, put some hot water on it, and just let it sit. And while that does sit, I found something interesting out about lanolin, which is the reason it's called wool fat. Lanolin is a wax that's secreted by all wool bearing animals. But it lacks glyceride, so it's not really a true fat. So the name Mitchell's Wool Fat Soap is a little bit misleading. It should actually be called Mitchell's Wool Wax Soap. So if any of you guys out there have a burgeoning soap company and you really want to like, you know, change the name of it to get attention, just call it Mitchell's Wool Wax. You'll shoot to the very top. As for what else I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using my Fawmere brush from Chiseled Face Crematorium. Also going to be using my whipped dog handle. I epoxy those two things together based on the recommendations of a lot of guys on Reddit. And I've been very happy with it. This is my Merker 34C safety razor, and today I'm going to be using different kind of blade for a change. I've been using Merker Platinum blades up until this point, but today I'm going to be using an Astra Superior Platinum blade. They're manufactured in Russia by Gillette, and they're coated with platinum, so a little bit fancy. And I figured, you know, if it's good enough for Boris Yeltsin, it's good enough for me. On TryBlade.com, it is the most popular blade there is. So I know that I shouldn't always go by popularity rankings because a lot of factors go into that, but there's probably a little something to it as far as being better than a Merker blade. So we're gonna find out today. Let's check on the soap. Oh, also, as far as TryBlade.com goes, like I told you guys last week, I ordered 25 different kinds from there. They sent in this little drug baggie, which is uh, it's kind of exciting because I don't do drugs. So this is about as close as I'll ever get. Kind of cool, lots of different colors. I don't know what happens if I swallow and maybe I will get high or I'll just die. Stay tuned. Okay guys, here's the soap. I'm gonna drain off that bloom water. Some of you guys think you should put the bloom water on your face. There's no reason I didn't do that other than I just forgot and started dumping it in the sink. So next time I'll try to remember that. Wet out my brush. Squeeze out the excess water and let's see what I can do here. Fingers crossed guys. Tell you what guys, I think this is the best lather I've gotten yet. Um, all that talk about blooming, letting it soak in the water for a while, I think that really did me, did me some good. Look at that. Looks all right. Okay, I'm pretty proud of that lather actually. I'm sure it's not the best that you can get with Mitchell's wool soap, but for me, my God, this is the Lamborghini of all lathers. Very cool. All right guys, let's not waste any more time, let's shave.
It actually does smell a lot better now that it's lathered. A lot of you guys have told me that about many different kinds of soap, most notably my Chiseled Face Grumatorium review, because I gave some pretty harsh reviews on the scents. But then once I lathered them up, I changed my mind about some of them. They're not so bad. So lathering things up, the antiseptic smell has gone away quite a bit. I still wouldn't say I love the scent whatsoever, but it's not bad anymore. Now it's just kind of like normal soap. For me, this is pretty good. Um, definitely the best lather I've put on my face so far as far as looking like what I see on other guys' YouTube channels. It's nice and thick. It holds the, uh, the peaks and the, you know, whenever I'm moving the brush around, it holds that shape. It's a little bit stiffer, more yogurty, as opposed to the very airy, big bubble garbage that basically I've been, I've been turning all these great soaps into since I started this channel. Uh, another interesting thing about lanolin that I learned is it's very, very, very good for sensitive skin. That's actually how they discovered to put it into the soap in the first place. Because I guess a lot of sheep herders and guys in that profession had really soft, smooth hands despite all the hard work they were doing. So they decided to put it in some soap and it turns out they were right. It's really, really good for making soap soft or skin soft and, you know, not irritated. So I have very sensitive skin, so this is going to be a plus for me. Alright guys, let's do it. Might be a combination of the blade and the soap, might be the soap, might be the blade. I'm not sure what the variable is that makes this the easiest pass I've ever done through a week's worth of beard, but it was. I don't know, I don't know who to attribute it to, but I'll say that everything working with me right now is top notch. Good stuff. Okay guys, that first pass left my face feeling really slick and really protected. I don't feel that normal burn that I usually feel when I've been shaving since I was a teenager. I pretty much feel that every single time. And I don't with this soap. Again, that could be the blade and the soap combined, but it's a good combination if that's the case. I'm gonna do a second pass now. Let's see how close I can get. I'm gonna go across the grin. Oh man, guys, what a shave. What a shave, that is so smooth and slick. Man, that's perfect. And it could be the lanolin, it could be just coincidence, could be anything, but I really, I mean, I nicked myself a little bit down here where I always do, but I've been doing that since I was a teenager too. But I just, yeah, didn't really even cut myself. I don't know if it's because this stuff is just so protective or what, but man, it's a good soap. I wish it smelled better though, but damn. Some cold water to close the pores up. <sighs> the best thing about the smell of this soap is that you can cover it up. I'm going to be sticking with what I used in my second video. This is Pro Razo. Crema Liquida Dopa Barbara Anti-Irritation. I think this is the greatest smell on the planet Earth. I love it. Feels good too. There's some green tea, some oatmeal, some other stuff in here that, you know, I don't know if it really does anything, but it's fancy. Oh yeah. Man, that smells good. Okay guys. Thank you so much for watching again. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys who have subscribed. And if you liked anything you saw in this video, well then go right ahead and subscribe again. I'd appreciate that too. And until next Monday or Tuesday, you guys have a good week. And I'll see you then. Take care. Today, I'm going to be shaving with Mitchell's Wolf Fat Shaving Soap. Now, this show, this soap, soap.